This is what happens in America in 2022. When you preach the word of God in the streets, they handcuff you, they put you under arrest, they detain you, but people can parade around for murder. Keep the camera on. Thou shalt not murder. The sixth commandment, thou shalt not murder. Right, you share the gospel of Jesus Christ, you end up with these handcuffs on. This is where we're at in America. The police who have sworn an oath to defend the Constitution are arresting a preacher of the Word of God. They're arresting a preacher of the Word of God. They're shutting down the gospel. They're, why, he's filming me. No, you're, you're, you, as a public servant, you're going to be held accountable? No, no. The camera is to protect So... According to the word of God, according to the word of God, abortion is murder according to the word of God. Give me on camera, bro. Give me on camera. According to the word of God. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Look at me in handcuffs. Look at me in handcuffs. Get a look at the handcuffs. This is what happens in America in 2022. When you preach the word of God in the streets, they handcuff you, they put you under arrest, they detain you. But people can parade around for murder. Keep the camera on me. The camera is holding the officers accountable. This is what the camera is for. This is our First Amendment rights. So the police are dragging me away in handcuffs for preaching the word of God, for preaching the truth. This is what's going on. Hey, keep, keep an eye on the speaker. Somebody watch the speaker. Somebody watch the speaker. Jeffrey White. Mr. So, Mr. White, can we have a this, conversation right quick? Yeah, we've had a conversation. No, These people are out here have a parading with, around for murder. Fair, take a few steps These back. people I don't want you on top keep me on camera. That's fine. No, his, camera what's your badge number? What's your name? That should be Mr. on camera. Mr. White. I'm Officer Lyde. I'm Officer Lyde. The CPD. Badge number is 5880. Badge number 5880. You're just simply being detained. Okay, so do you have the right to detain anyone at any time you do? Yes. Okay, under what right? What was I doing? We have what's called city codes okay? right and those city codes say that you need a permit for every five times so okay? when these so thousands you, of people you, parade you around have, for murder and I they're just that. as loud as my speaker they're just as loud as my speaker it's an individual so what about my first amendment right that says i have the right to yell to just as loud as that speech. i yes. have the right to liberty without I have the right to, to the freedom of religion it does not say that you have the right to amplify sound 
So can you show me where it says I do not have the right to amplify sound? It is on the permit that you would you have show had me had you got the where I Can you show me in the code where I need to amplify sound? Well, I, I get can, I can put show in handcuffs. You the city code. I'm I get put in handcuffs. I, I, I'm I get put in handcuffs. Yeah, listen, listen. Okay, show me where you have you, the right to put You want to be so handcuffs. argumentative, and I'm trying no. to work with you so that you have an understanding of how you can make this work within your constitutional rights so that you can stand here and yes. speak your message instead of going to jail, but you won't shut up. You're getting very angry. All right, sir. I just want to have a conversation with you, and I'm you keep trying to talk over me. You're getting angry. Okay. You're getting so angry. if you're willing to listen, I'm willing to help you out. Okay. Okay. Yes, I do have the right to put you in cuffs. Okay, because yes, I do have the right to investigate whether or not you have a permit. Because if you use amplified sound within the city district, the congested business district area, I'm going to have a car come up here. Okay. And I'm going to show you the laws that you violate, okay? It takes time. This doesn't work on your time, it works on our time. Okay, All so right? I'm being put in handcuffs. Yes. Because I'm preaching the right. word of God. Thou shalt not murder! So... The Sixth Commandment right. says, Thou shalt not murder. I'm not using amplified sound. That's you told me don't use amplified right. sound. You're right. What am I doing wrong? You just You're told me don't use amplified right sound. Right now. So let me Every you. soul will stand before the Lord in judgment. According Amen. to our actions. Amen. And the only way for us to be forgiven of our sins is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus so saves from sins. Would you like to I, continue I'm doing listening that? to you. Yes, yes. I'm you. listening to you. you Listen, you told me stop. Right. No, no. Go ahead. We would like for you to continue to, to exercise your freedom of speech, but you cannot have a speaker. That's fine. Okay. If I can I, do listen, this. Listen, had you said that when I first came you, you wouldn't have to go through all okay, this. Okay, that's fine, but I you got me chained up. There's people whose souls are perishing and going to hell, and I'm trying to stop it, and you got I'm my hands cuffed okay. right now. I'm I'm you. you have to do it within the law, just like that's they fine. are. That's fine, okay? Okay, that's fine. All right. All right. So you need anything else? Do you understand? I'll you put the speaker away. Have yes. yes. You this have my word. Warning, okay? You have my word, officer. I'll push I will use the amplifier. Give me a favor. Do not turn it back off. I'm going right there. I'm going to dance in my mouth. You guys care to join us?
spirit, the Antichrist spirit behind these people. You see how passionate they are about the shedding of innocent blood. You see how violent they are, how aggressive they are, how fired up they are to murder babies in the womb. But my question is, where is the church? It's about seven or, or eight of us out here standing for the word of God. Where is the church? We have, we have a church in Charlotte, Elevation Church, that has about 30,000 people in it every Sunday. Where are these 30,000 Christians at? This is supposed to be the Bible Belt. There's churches on every block in Charlotte. Where are the Christians? Where are the Christians that are standing up for the word of God? We see how passionate the world is, but these churches are, are standing oh, silent. How many churches are even preaching about this? How many, how many churches are even celebrating that Roe v. Wade is over? How many churches are standing up for the truth? This is what has allowed the, the, the atmosphere to get this way. If these people had been reached earlier with the Word of God, the true Word of God, not the, not the perverted Word of God that's in churches today, if they were truly preached the Bible earlier, there's no way their minds would be this far gone.